Hello and welcome. Today, we'll guide you through the essential steps to upload your iOS app to the Apple App Store. If you followed our previous video on creating an app in just two minutes, you're now ready to learn how to publish it. Let's dive right in. Once you've downloaded your iOS app, extract the files to ensure everything is in order. Here's how to get started. Sign in to your developer account. Go to the Apple Developer website and log in with your Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple Developer account, you'll need to enroll in the Apple Developer Program. Enroll in the Apple Developer Program. The program costs $99 USDS per year and grants you access to various developer tools and resources. Before you can upload your app, you need to configure several settings in your developer account. Go to the Certificates, Identifiers and Profiles section in your developer account. Click on Certificates and then the plus button to create a new certificate. Follow the instructions to generate a Certificate Signing Request CSR, and upload it to create your certificate. Register an App ID. Under Identifiers, click on App IDs and then the plus button. Enter a description and bundle ID for your app. Ensure the bundle ID matches the one used in your Xcode project. Create a provisioning profile. Go to Profiles and click the plus button to create a new provisioning profile. Select the type of profile, development or distribution, choose the app ID you registered, and link the necessary certificates and devices. Download the provisioning profile and double-click to install it in Xcode. Register your devices for testing. If you plan to test your app on physical devices, register them under the Devices section. Create API keys and configure services if needed. Under Keys, generate any necessary API keys for services your app will use. Configure any additional services like push notifications or in-app purchases. With your developer account set up, return to Xcode. Open your project. Ensure your project settings are correctly configured, especially the bundle identifier and version number. Select the correct team. In Xcode, go to the project settings and under the Signing and Capabilities tab, select your Apple developer team. After the signing settings, in the info section, the reasons to access the camera, location, and other sensitive data should be specified, or else your app will not be authorized by the technical team. Archive your app. Choose Product Archive from the menu. This process compiles your app and prepares it for upload. Once the archive is created, the Xcode Organizer window will open. With your app archived, follow these steps to upload it. Upload the archive. After validation, click the Distribute App button, choose App Store Connect as the distribution method, and follow the prompts to upload your app. Monitor the upload process. Once complete, you'll receive a confirmation in Xcode. Now configure your app's listing in App Store Connect. Log in to App Store Connect. Go to App Store Connect. In the My Apps section, click the plus button to create a new app. Enter app information. Fill in the basic information about your app, such as the app name, primary language, bundle ID, and SKU. Provide the app description, keywords, support URL, marketing URL, and any additional required information.
With everything configured, it's time to submit your app for review. Select a build in the App Store. Connect dashboard. Select the build you uploaded from Xcode. You may need to answer a few compliance questions and provide additional information about your app's functionality. Add screenshots and an app preview for all supported device sizes. Click the Submit for Review button. Apple's review process can take several days. Monitor the status in App Store Connect and be prepared to respond to any feedback or required changes. Once your app is approved, it's ready to be released. You can choose to release your app immediately or schedule it for a specific date and time. Congratulations, you've successfully navigated the process of uploading your iOS app to the App Store. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips on app development. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.